Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Dalton at Dalton 95 Punch with another Transformers Legacy Evolution video and today we're taking a look at the final generation Slux figure of the year. Hopefully we got more coming out, especially in this kind of style, but we're taking a look at Antagony. There is the wireframe style. I'm, I love that they're doing this. Kind of reminds me of the 86 movie. I'm not sure if I said that before. Maybe I did with Cyclonus, but I, I just, I love this. Just the whole grid pattern looks like a, a blueprint. But there it is, Voyager Class Antagony. Not much else to go on in the box. There is the Predacon logo. Of course, all their legal information. Saying that it's plastic free except for tape and glue. So let's get that out of here. And look at Antagony herself. Now, she does come with the standard Inferno head, but she does come with this more scavenger style head. I do wish they gave her you know, the more comic or artwork accurate head. Uh, I could put an image right there. It's probably going to be from TF Wiki. That's usually my go-to with some of these images. So there's that right there. So, and I, I do think someone is at least making a 3D printed one. It might be one of the companies that have done the Inferno uh, blaster weapons. But yeah, I'm definitely going to give this to the you know, standard release Inferno to make him into Scavenger. Hopefully Toy Hacks does like a conversion kit as far as some stickers go. Maybe someone can put together some like drill weapons to replace, you know, the, like the front legs of the ant. But yeah, there's that. We'll take a closer look at it later. There is the thruster or, you know, weapon. It is molded in a translucent purple with this really nice gunmetal gray going all the way to here. I wish it would have gone further to cover this little section here. Because even though this is mostly designed to look like the, you know, the, the butt thruster, there is some elements of his larger weapon, such as these little kind of squared off pieces. But they've got that. It's still got the four quadrants for blast effects. But looking at Antagony here, she is molded in black plastic uh, with some translucent plastic here for the ant eyes, which that shade of purple is just gorgeous. I think it does have a thin layer of translucent paint. I'm not sure. It could just be a two-tone translucent plastic. Again, I am not sure. You do have some gunmetal gray here on the shoulders. You got a very subtle Predacon symbol there on her shoulder. Of course, you got purple paint for the head, as well as some black and silver, and that very bright red light piping for the eyes. You got some kind of pinkish purple here on the back. And of course, inside this abdomen, you know, the ant. Oh. Okay. This whole thing is painted that's a brighter shade of gunmetal gray with some yellow spots right there and of course it does still spin go ahead and add the thruster piece here you can get the full effect and make it easier to spin so real quick we'll go ahead and bring in her mold mate and also show off the head on him so here is inferno so even just the, the slight amount of color changes does really make her look different. I mean, even the head is just so much Inferno, it's hard looking at her and think, oh yeah, that's Antagony. But we'll go ahead and take Inferno's head off here. It is just on a ball joint. Plug this new one on, and there we have Scavenger. Still looking crazy as ever. So yeah, Mike. I might actually take him apart and paint some of this brown. Might leave some red on there, maybe for the head. But yeah, I'd love to see some like new pieces for like these ant legs, maybe a multi uh, articulated leg with the drills on it. So yeah, I need to look, look up more information. But if you open up his chest here, there is some molded in detail that does match scavenger. So might have to display him with this open and the mandibles out. So we can see that detail all the time. Let's go ahead and take that head off and show it off here on Antagony because it still looks pretty good on her too. Like 
I'm actually surprised how good it looks on her. Just looks more maniacal and evil, I think, with the darker colors. But again, zooming in here, you can see the molded in teeth. Still got the light piping, and of course, the gunmetal paint on the sides, the horns, the green paint there on the forehead. Just looks absolutely awesome. And yeah, that's one thing I've ran into with this retool is some of the joints are a little loose. I might have to go in with some of that clear four polish and just tighten them up a little bit. And take this head off, put the stock one back on. There we go. So yeah, getting into articulation, we'll go ahead and get these pieces out of the way. The head is still, of course, on a ball joint as you side. You've got that double hinge. You can open the jaw all the way with the black painted on the inside there. Shoulders. Got to get the ant legs out of the way, but they can rotate 360 out to there. See, this is how you do a shoulder, Hasbro. Got a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and you got a wrist swivel. Do have a waist swivel, but you got to get everything out of the way. And still rotate 360 forward and back all the way out. Got a thigh swivel there and if you want to, a double jointed knee, although it doesn't look quite right. So properly transformed, a little bit, yeah, pretty much just 90. You got an ankle tilt and you got downward due to the transformation. So speaking of transformation, let's go ahead and get her into ant mode. So we'll go ahead and remove this piece, rotate this section up out of the way. Just keep that all there for now. Go ahead and collapse the feet and curl them up. There is a tab right there, slot right there. I'll just do that on both sides. Then from here, untab the ant head, open it up, bring out the mandibles, the head up, and just close it like that. Keep those closed for now. Now for the arms, want to bring them out this way. Just trying to remember this proper. Okay. Want the arms to go like this with the joint pointing in and the thumb going down towards the inside. So I'll show you that Again, rotate that, bring this out of the way. So here, bring this up, and then bend the elbow. Get the ant leg out of the way. And those will tab together. They are a staggered pair of tabs. Bring that up. Then for the knee or for the legs, they do tab together, and the shins will shift just like that. Bring this piece down. You actually want the hips to be kind of down like that. Bring that down. Bring the hip joints up like that. These will tab. Actually, I got that backwards. So rotate this. Okay, make sure these are tabbed together. There we go. Then bring this up. And these pegs will just go right into these side pieces here. Oh, 
thought I had this. There we go. So tab in there, tab it on this side, and tab in from the top. And then of course just get these ant legs situated. And go ahead and plug the weapon in on top there. And there. Antagony in her beast mode. So, yeah, awesome looking black and purple ant. So now we've got two species of ant in our collections because here we have Inferno in his beast mode. So you got a standard ant and then a fire ant. So there you go. Just go over some of the detail differences. I wish the, you know, Inferno had the green stripe going down. I know the Takara one's got, I think it's a brown stripe or a darker red. I don't know why they have an aversion to the green stripe that he had in the cartoon. I mean, because Hasbro's able to do it here for Antagony in purple. I just, I don't get why they won't do it for Inferno with the blue. Or that blue screen. But yeah, I mean, still got the same posable antenna. Got the legs that can move a little bit. Of course, the mandibles do open and close. So you got two sets here just a static one, and then these two that do overlap just to the way they're designed. You can see that this one is a little bit lower. Or maybe it's something to do with the joint. I'm not sure. But by the time they clasp together, they do overlap. So you can get that going on. It'd be cool if you get them actually to like, touch for that full effect. There you go. Yeah, not bad. Go ahead and take this off and get her back into robot mode. Just split or take this up. We'll split these two. Lift this section up. Bring the legs down. Bring this piece up. I'll allow you to bring the legs down. Straighten that out. Bring the ant legs down. Unfurl the robot mode arms. Straighten those out. Flip legs around until the details match up here on the front of the arm. Basically until this leg is about at a diagonal away from the body. So there's that. Straighten out the arm here. To there. The fist. There we go. Bring this down. Open this up. And then close up the chest. Tab the ant head into there. And then it's just a matter of untapping the legs, straightening them out, and then flipping out the feet and heels. Straighten out. Flip up. There we go. Then bring this section down to get the full abdomen. And then bring these legs up over like that. And there we have Antagony back in robot mode. So yeah, another fantastic version of a 3H era character. And again, it's a Beast Wars character, so even more excited about that. So there she is with Sandstorm. So you can get an example of the other one that we got. So yeah, I'm just waiting for a new version of the Bat Primal so we can have Onyx Primal. 
Uh, there's a listing for a Beast Wars Silverbolt, so I highly suspect we'll be getting Windraiser. There's been a listing floating around for a while of a, t of a Fractal, and I believe a Pack Rat as well. I don't know if Pack Rat is happening, but it'd be fantastic to have him. We've got the Covert Agent Ravage, so I don't know why we can't get, you know, Transmetal Tigatron or, you know, the Botcon Tigatron out of that. But yeah, so here's hoping. Uh, also, like I said, I'm probably going to get the upgrade head to make her look more accurate to her design. And when the new Inferno comes out, I'm definitely going to turn the current Inferno into sand or Scavenger. So, yeah, I'm going to stop rambling and end it there. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to check out my links down below, my X and Instagram, as well as all those other links down there as well. Be sure to check out my Evolution Legacy Evolution playlist as well as my Studio Series playlist. Those are going to be somewhere on the channel, if not down in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time.